According to exclusive Ipsos polling for Global News, 55% of Canadians remain concerned that they might not have enough money to feed their family. That figure rises to 68% among people with kids in their household. In the last six months, one in five respondents say their grocery bill has increased by at least $100 per week, and one in 10 Canadians report having accessed a food bank this year. Well, I think the main takeaway here is that Canadians are still feeling the pinch in their pocketbooks. Even though inflation is abating now closer to 4%, well off its highs from a couple of quarters ago, it really hasn't had a lot of impact on the attitudes of Canadians. Many are still concerned that prices will rise faster than they can adjust. A majority, in fact, a growing proportion at 55%, that's up two points from the end of last year, uh, say that they worry about being able to put food on the table. That rises to two thirds of parents with kids in the household. Uh, So there's still a a very strong uh, and in some cases growing proportion of Canadians who are worried about the basic necessities of life, putting food on the table. So we can say that interest rate, or sorry, that inflation rates are, are going down. Maybe the interest rates uh, won't go up uh, a- anymore, but it's going to take a long time for Canadians to adjust to the, their new uh, financial realities. And uh, a declining inflation rate doesn't mean that prices are getting cheaper. It just means that they're going up s- slower. Um, and so Canadians are still adjusting to the increases that have already happened. And uh, many are already saying that they're tapped out and they just simply wouldn't be able to afford any more. And food is the is the constant reminder uh, for, for many people uh, because it's something they have to do every day and something every week they have to go to the grocery store and um, they're being reminded on a consistent basis that things are simply more expensive and they can't afford what they were able to afford last year. Well, we know from surveys like the MNP Debt Index that uh, roughly half of Canadians say that they have less than $200 a month left over. And so when somebody is spending an extra $50 a week uh, because uh, food's going up or gas is going up, whatever it is that they're spending their money on, $50 times four weeks is $200. That equals the amount of money that they had uh, left over. And so it's, it's really eating into their ability to save, their ability to pay down debt, their ability to invest in uh, education for their child's future, any any number of things. And um, what we're seeing uh, perhaps is a result of the decline in inflation, but it could also be because the summer months are coming. Well, people are still coming back on things like entertainment and dining out. They're a little less likely to say they're doing those things, but they're even more likely than they used to be to say things like they're giving up on buying uh, meat or fresh vegetables, uh, you know, something that can really have an impact on on their lives and the lives of their their children. So, food seems to be kind of the last holdout uh, for a lot of people um, because it's having such a, a profound impact on their wallets. I think that shrinkflation is uh, a bit anecdotal for people. They pick up a box at the grocery store and they go, didn't this used to be bigger? Um, they're noticing that those portion sizes are are declining and they're concerned that that trend could continue. In fact, 84% uh, are worried that that could continue because they realize that that is eroding uh, the value. Uh, if the price isn't increasing, then the quantity of goods that they're able to buy for that same amount of money is decreasing. It amounts to the same thing, meaning that their purchasing power is declining, and Canadians are concerned that uh, their incomes just aren't able to to keep up so that they can maintain the same quality of life in the future as they have had in the past.